Hey, good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, June 12, 2024, and this daily bread is titled Staying Close to God. It's from Lamentations 3, verses 1 to 18. The key verse is verse 3, and it says, Indeed, he has turned his hand against me again and again all day long. I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of the Lord's wrath. He has driven me away and made me walk in darkness rather than light. Indeed, he has turned his hand against me again and again all day long. He has made my skin and my flesh grow old and has broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. He has made me dwell in darkness like those long dead. He has walled me in so I cannot escape. He has weighed me down with chains. Even when I call out or cry for help, He shuts out my prayer. He has barred my way with blocks of stone. He has made my paths crooked, like a bear lying in wait, like a lion in hiding. He dragged me from the path and mangled me and left me without help. He drew his bow and made me the target for his arrows. He pierced my heart with arrows from his quiver. I became the laughingstock of all my people. They mock me in song all day long. He has filled me with bitter herbs and given me gall to drink. He has broken my teeth with gravel. He has trampled me in the dust. I have been deprived of peace. I have forgotten what prosperity is, so I say, my splendor is gone and all that I had hoped from the Lord. Daily Bread Part 1 The Purpose Behind God's Discipline The author talks about feeling the impact of God's discipline. Even though God's discipline can be tough, it demonstrates His commitment to making sure we do what is right and live righteous lives. 2 Peter 3.9 says, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. When facing personal struggles or failures, don't see them only as painful and unending. Instead, turn them into opportunities for spiritual growth. Keep in mind, God's discipline reflects His love and care for us. We may think we're waiting for God, but He's waiting for us to change. Part 2. The Importance of Living Close to God The deep sadness and loneliness felt by the author, shows how hard life can be without God. It reminds us of the despair that comes from living apart from Him. Don't neglect your relationship with God. Always stay in constant conversation with Him through prayer, remembering Bible verses, and recounting the spiritual lessons you've learned. Regularly confess your sins repent, and ask for God's help to grow. Join in community prayer and stay accountable within your campus fellowship to keep a healthy spiritual life. These things are all necessary to stay close to God and experience true joy in your relationship with Him. Remember, life apart from God is no life at all. Let's pray. Lord, I see the reality of my sin and weakness when I stray away from you. But in my darkest moments, remind me that your forgiveness and mercy are just a prayer away. Please help me to draw close to you in every moment, restoring the joy of salvation in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. One word, stay close to God.